subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in Aruba Certified Mobility Associate. So let's get started. Question number 1. A network administrator creates the role employees and adds the following rule to it. When the Aruba firewall matches traffic from these clients to the user any permit rule, what does it do? Your options are A. It permits traffic from wireless clients in both the following subnet, as long as the packet has a source IP. B. It permits the traffic from wireless clients in the following subnet, but drops the traffic from wireless clients in the following subnet. C. It drops traffic from wireless clients in both the following subnet. D. It permits the traffic from wireless clients in the following subnet, but drops the traffic from wireless clients in the following subnet. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 2. A company has many 7,220 controllers in its Aruba wireless architecture. A network administrator wants to use the traffic analysis dashboard in order to monitor, which type of applications are being used by wireless users. What is required for this implementation? Your options are A. Air match and client match must be enabled. B. The solution must have active PIM licenses. C. Valons must use the decrypt tunnel forwarding option. D. Firewall policies must include application filtering rules. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 3. A network administrator configures an Aruba Mobility Master, based solution to provide wireless access to employees. The solution must meet these criteria. 1. Authenticate users to a network radius server. 2. Enforce different Aruba firewall rules based on the user department. How can the administrator meet these criteria in the simplest way? Your options are A. Create a different VLAN and SSID for each department. Apply different firewall policies to each VLAN. B. Have the radius server send different roles for users in different departments. Apply role-based firewall policies. C. Create multiple zones on the MM. Assign different departments or sets of firewall policies to different zones. D. Have the radius server assign users in different departments to different VLANs. Apply firewall policies based on IP ranges. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 4. An Aruba solution runs Aruba OS 8 and uses a mobility master architecture. Which feature can network administrators use to balance wireless across APs on different channels? Your options are A. App RF B. Arm C. Client Match D. Air Match The correct answer is, option C. Question number 5. What is the difference between how a network administrator can monitor clients in the mobility interface, and in the airwave management platform? Your options are A. Airwave shows trends for the past several minutes, while MM shows longer trends. B. Airwave combines information from more sources, such as radius authenticating servers and APs. C. Airwave shows the current signal level for the client connection, while MM does not show RF statistics. D. MM shows user and role information associated with clients, while Airwave does not. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 6, an AP operates on channel 6. Which device causes the most significant and consistent interference with the signal? Your options are A. Cellular phone B. AP operating on channel 11 C. Wireless security camera operating on channel 8 D. Weather radar The correct answer is, option C. Question number 7. What is a reason for a company to choose to deploy an Aruba 7024 mobility controller rather than an Aruba 7010 MC? Your options are A. To support a faster firewall throughput rate B. To support the following APs rather than only this APS C. To support more wireless users D. To support more PO devices directly connected to the MC The correct answer is, option D. Question number 8. A company has an Aruba solution that supports an employee VLAN. How can network administrators control in which subnets user receive IP addresses? Your options are 
A assigned switch ports connected to APs to VLANs associated with the desired subnets. B set the VLANs associated with desired subnets in the VLAN settings. C configure firewall policies that permit the desired subnet, and add them to the initial role for the VLAN. D. In the VLAN settings, configure user role rules with the desired subnet addresses as match criteria. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 9. A network manager wants to implement an Aruba wireless solution that accommodates the following with EAP TLS. All wireless users will utilize Active Directory accounts to authenticate. Which device will the authenticator forward the authentication request to in this type of solution? Your options are A. Mobility Master B. Mobility Controller C. Radius Server D. Appease The correct answer is, option C. Question number 10. A company wants to provide wireless access for guests with their Aruba solution. Which configuration feature requires the customer to purchase PAN licenses? Your options are A. Redirection of guests to an external captive portal B. Customization of the internal captive portal login page C. Addition of custom rules to control access for authenticated guests D. Provision of DHCP services to unauthenticated guests The correct answer is, option C. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.